Hey, Robin Wilson here with SCP Agency, and today we're gonna to talk about your business or dealership's social media strategy. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'll probably wiggle a little bit because I'm sitting in a chair and that's what I do. Um, if I were standing, you'd be difficult to keep me on camera. So I'm sitting to keep as still as I can, but I'm super excited about this topic, social media strategy. So a lot of people say they do social media, right? So I will talk to businesses or dealerships that are like, yeah, we've got someone handling our social media. And I'm like, great, what is the strategy behind that? Yeah. That's what I thought. So, just because somebody is posting every day for you and there's not a strategy as to how that will equate to more customers, more business, more engagement, more sales, if they can't tell you what the end result is, maybe it's time to give them the old boot. So, number one, let's talk about whether your business has a social media strategy, okay? If they do, what is it? And um, are you changing it as the market changes? So, uh, for example, in the automotive industry, if you're doing really great at selling new cars, but your pre-owned department is really lacking, shouldn't you change your strategy to kind of do something that will um, push more of the pre-owned vehicles out of the lot? So what does that look like? So that may look like having a... Uh, deal of the day every three days, right? And you get your old age units, your over 90 day units, your over 120 day units, whatever those units are that are just about to get shipped back to the auction, you figure out how much you're gonna write them down and then let's blast that out on social media. That's a strategy because we know that there's a weakness within what your dealership is doing right now. So let's talk about if you're not a dealership, if you're a small business owner, and let's say that you're a restaurant, but Tuesdays and Wednesdays are really your light days, right? But your social media strategy is pushing the specials of the day, it's pushing out whatever, and we're not addressing the fact that where you need the business is not on a Sunday, okay? Don't run any specials on Sunday. Let's run those oh my gosh to die for specials on Tuesday or Wednesday. Let's reach out to groups in the community and go, hey, do you want to have your event here on a Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm like going to slash the price for you because you need to bring in business on that Tuesday or Wednesday. So a social strategy goes along with where are the gaps in what's going on in your business. Maybe it's in the service department at the dealership. Maybe on fr Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you guys are booked up and people are ticked because they can't get in. But maybe you have a valet service that nobody knows about or a concierge service that picks up and drops off and uh, you, double, you double load those guys on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday so you can get those um, bookings in there, you can get those appointments in there, those service appointments in on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So you can see what a strategy looks like that there's a point behind it, not just, am I posting something every day to social media? Oh look, I sold another customer. Oh look, another dress. Oh look, a fancy haircut I just finished. So let's look at what one looks like. So we meet with our clients once a month and we go over, uh, let's look at what is going on in the dealership. What are you needing to get out of here? Like if it's a car dealership and they have way too many brand new Fortes on the lot, like way too many, then we're going to be looking for those Rio owners that have already purchased a vehicle 24 to 48 months ago. And we're going to run a super special at them to upgrade to a Forte or what, insert your brand, insert your economy car to your next level car and swap those out. And then that's what that's going to look like, right? So there's a strategy right there. Okay. Um, do our, our mid-level techs, the ones who do, um, not the oil changes, but the next level up. So are, is the, is the amount of service that they have to keep them busy lacking right now, right? If it is, maybe we run a special because we need to keep those guys busy. The engine transmission guys are super packed up and the oil change guys are so full, but these mid -size, these middle techs right here are not. So what do we do? Where's the strategy that we can go, okay, so what, do, what services do they offer? What days do we need those booked on? And then that's a strategy that we pull together to get that information out into the public, right? So that may be what a strategy looks like. They're custom designed for where are the gaps in your business and how can we fill it with social media, not just a constant commercial all the time about stuff that's not going to help your dealership, right? Okay. So I can hear people go, oh my God, that's way too hard. 
It's not hard. It's you thinking about what your business looks like today, what you need it to look like tomorrow, and then how do we get there? How do we get from point A to point B using social media and the conversation tool that Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter are? How do we get there and bring those business, that part of your business that needs to be emphasized into right now. How do we grow that part? Okay. We've got this one hitting on all cylinders. We've got this one hitting on all cylinders, but we're kind of falling down here. How do we do that? So you just think about it ahead of time and then you plot your month accordingly, right? Okay. So I'm going to give you a small little example, right? So when we work with a dealership, or a business, uh, and we have both. We have dealerships and small businesses. So when we visit with them, we're like, okay, so for example, for maybe one of our um, barber shops or our salons, right? So maybe they're not moving very much product, or maybe people don't know that they're open on Sundays from these hours to these hours, and they need that awareness because they've got stylists that are sitting there all day long on a Sunday, kind of twiddling their thumbs and not having a lot of appointments, right? But Sunday's a great time because there's so few salons that are open on a Sunday. So how do we get that word out? Well, we use social to do that. We use social to push people on a Sunday to go get their hair cut. Instead of all the days when they're super busy, maybe we need that Sunday filled. Or maybe Tuesdays are super slow. So we run a special for the boys in blue or anybody who is in law enforcement or firefighters that they get a half price haircut if they come in on Tuesdays. And now we've filled that gap. We've created a strategy to fill the gaps in the business other than just posting something every day, which is what we see happening. Ah, craziness, right? Oh. Okay, so now you know that you probably don't have one and now you know what one looks like. Now that you know that it's not hard and you've seen an example of what it is, can you go out and make a social media strategy for your business today? If you need help, call us. We, Max will edit this video and he will put our phone number in the description for you to call us and go, Robin, I just need some help with our strategy. And you're going to discuss with me the gaps that are in your business and I'm going to give you some tips on how to get those fixed. All right, guys, it is uh, my video day that I was supposed to schedule videos today. I was supposed to shoot videos today and woo, success. I got one done. So subscribe to our channel. You're going to see three new videos in here per week. I'm going to do my best to get three new videos in here per week. And I promise they will be full of value. If you um, have any questions, anything, pop them in the notes down below, and I'll be glad to get back in there and answer those for you guys. Have a great day. Make it awesome and get your strategy.